Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. David, what time did Roger say he'd be here? I like having company. About 8.30, maybe a little later. It's 8.30 now. Then, a little later. Oh, I'm dying to meet him. It's funny I haven't, isn't it? It's just one of those things. He had to be away when we got married. We've been so busy since. (laughs) What do I call him, David? Roger or Mr. Killian? Whichever you want. Roger isn't a very formal person. Uh, darling, hmm? are you a little nervous about meeting Roger? Oh, not really. I, I... Because if you are, you're a goop. Am I a goop because I want him to think I'm the right wife for you? <laughs> he, he will. You sound awfully sure. How do you know? Because I think you are. Be careful. You'll swell my hand. Well, now that that's settled and I've endorsed you as Mrs. David Norton, Thank throw you. me those matches over there, would you? I'll bring them over personally. Don't bother. Just throw them. Uh-uh. Mama said it was impolite to throw things. David. Yes? You and Roger are very close, aren't you? He's really a fine architect, and we work well together for a long time. But it's more than that. I like Roger. You'll like him, too. Of course I will, David. He might need a little understanding, but he's worth it. Oh, blast this pipe. It won't draw. You probably need a new one. What? Of course this one must be worn out. You've had it ever since I knew you. But, Claudia... I'll buy you a new one. First thing tomorrow... Claudia, listen to me. Listen to me, David. You think I can't buy a pipe, don't you? I know you can't. Huh? You probably thought I couldn't buy a chair either, didn't you? Did I ever say that? Well, no. subconsciously, you probably thought that. And I bought a chair, didn't I? You sure did. And it's a nice chair, isn't it? A beautiful chair. You didn't know what you were doing. I certainly did. It was a bargain. <laughs> so if I can buy a chair, I see no reason why I can't throw out your old pipe and buy you a new one. I know you can. That's just what I'm afraid of. David, you're not making any sense at now, all. Now, will you listen to me? I'm listening. A pipe and a chair are two entirely different things. I know. You can't smoke a chair. (laughs) And that's what's the matter with your pipe. You can't smoke it either. Who says? You just says it won't draw. Claudia, a pipe is only good when it's old. Yours isn't old. It's antique. All it needs is a little scraping. I think that's exactly what's the matter with it. You scraped it too much. Since when have you become an authority on pipes, Since I've been watching you work on this one, and I don't see why it should be all so complicated. Further proof of your ignorance. Choosing a pipe and caring for a pipe is one of the few things left in life that a man can do for himself. All men or just you, David? In this particular case, I identify myself with all mankind. Oh. I'll come along when you buy the new one. I don't intend to buy a new one. But you can come along when I don't. What are you rubbing it against your nose for? For polish. I've got some wonderful furniture polish in the kitchen cupboard. Want me to get it? Well, this will do fine, thank you. The pipe prefers my nose. <laughs> <laughs> David. Now what? More matches. Claudia, what are you looking at me like that for? I was just thinking. Uh, you better speak up. Could I have a puff? <laughs> What's the matter? I was waiting for this. Then why didn't you offer it to you'll me? You'll get sick. You'll get sick. I won't. I promise. Oh, Roger will be sick. coming. You'll be oh, green. Oh, he won't. Mind. Come on, give me a puff. Don't be selfish. Well, just a minute. Just a minute. Mm. <gasps> what a lot of smoke. Now it's my turn. Now, Come wait a on. minute. Wait, wait till I get it going. Here. Now? Mm. Now, Claudia, take only a little puff. All right, now. Hey, let me hold it. Well, hold it by the bowl like this. Oh, it's warm. Of course it's warm. It's the heat that makes it hot. Oh. Now, don't breathe in, darling. Just just blow out. <laughs> hmm. That didn't taste bad, David. It didn't? <laughs> no, not bad. I really don't think it's worth all your trouble of scraping and polishing and lighting. Well, all that. now, you just leave all of that to me. I'm glad you smoke a pipe, David. It looks awfully nice on your face. How's it look on me? Mm, not bad. Makes you look like an admiral. I'll give it back to Oh, one more puff now. 
<laughs> you took too big a puff. Buddy. I did not. I swallowed the wrong way, that's all. <laughs> you can't puff and swallow at the same time. That must be Roger. Shall I go? Are you all right? <laughs> of course I'm all right. <laughs> I can smoke it. a pipe any time, only I don't like it. <laughs> I'm coming. Hello, Mr. Killian. Well, hello, my dear. I've been waiting a long time for this. Let me take your coat. Thank you. David's in the living room. No, he isn't. He's right here. Evening, Roger. David, old man. I'm sorry, Claudia. I'm, I'm afraid I'm a little late. Not at all. You two go inside and I'll be right in. Here, have a seat over there, Roger. Just a moment, David. What's that chair doing here? Uh, do you like it? Like it? Why, it's perfectly beautiful. It's a Duncan Five. Uh, Claudia just bought it. Turn it over. Tell me what you think of it. Looks like an original. Oh, by George, it is an original. It has exquisite lines, hasn't it? Yes, but what I think I like best about it is its simplicity. Simplicity. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. In building, too. Especially in architecture. Won't you sit down? You can have the new chair. Uh, Claudia means the old chair, Roger. (laughs) You know, David, now that I've met Claudia, I'm twice as upset that I didn't get back to your wedding. I wish you'd been there, too. You know, I've heard David talk about you so much that I'd have known you right off, even if I just glimpsed you walking down the street. What a nice thing to say, Claudia. Oh, you're so young. I hardly remember anyone so wonderfully young. Oh, don't say that. I. It's not my age so much. It's my stomach. And these days, what with rising costs, labor trouble, material shortage, I... I feel continually as if I were coming apart at the edges. <laughs> I can't help it. it. It's the way it is. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Roger? Win my wife away by strumming on her heart string? <laughs> oh, there's no chance of that, I'm afraid. Will you have a cigarette? I'm not smoking for a few weeks. Oh, not even a pipe? Oh, I never touch a pipe. I used to enjoy a good cigar once in a while, but no more. Claudia, any matches over there? What for, dear? Has it gone out again? Oh, no, I just like matches to amuse myself. <laughs> I'm a pyromania. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your cat. <laughs> Your aim is terrible. You caught me. it, didn't you? Well, don't mind us, Roger. <laughs> Claudia, I brought you a little something for your new home. A present for us? I think you'll like it. Oh, I know we will. Now, where did I... Oh, dear. I must have left it in the pocket of my top coat. I'll get it for oh, you. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll get it. The closet's right by the front door, Roger. The light goes on automatically. I'll find it. David, he's awfully nice. He makes me feel a little sad. I had no idea his hair would be so white. You never told me. Mm, I've gotten used to it, I guess. There I just stopped we noticing are, it. Claudia. Be careful when you open it now, Claudia. Do you know what it is? No, but knowing Roger, I'm sure it'll be lovely, whatever it is. I hope you won't be disappointed. I'm never disappointed. <gasps> David, look. That is lovely. Oh, it's so fragile, I'm afraid I'll break it by just looking at it. You really like it? Like it? Why, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I've always been very fond of it. On and off, I've collected Chinese miniature porcelains, and this one is the most perfect I've ever found. Are you sure you want to give it to us? I mean, if it's part of your collection, why... Quite sure. You must have it. I'm going to be so careful of it. David, look at the lovely soft colors. And it's lasted all these centuries. This is uh, Tang period, isn't it, Roger? That's exactly what it is. Tang. Tang? When was that? About a thousand years ago. (gasps) A thousand years, and it's still so perfect. Roger, where do you think we should put it? Oh, um, on the mantel? Oh, that painting over it's so ugly, it'd be a shame to... No, you want to find a place, Claudia, where it'll be safe. How about on top of the bookshelf? Oh, uh, not a very good light over there. That's true. Oh, this apartment is all wrong for it. I know. I've got it. I've got next it. Next to the chair. Of course, <laughs> next to the chair. Is that where you thought, David? That's the place. Here, give it to me. We'll see how it looks. There. That? Splendid, splendid. Combination of early American and Chinese. Mm, very interesting. We'll do our whole house like that someday. Early American and Chinese. Now, I'm not so sure I'd like it in large doses. We won't have large doses. The Chinese will be represented by this little Chinese man. He can stand up for himself perfectly well. He has for centuries. You know, it must be a wonderful satisfaction to create something so beautiful. I wonder if the artist who made it dreamed that we'd be looking at it a thousand years later. Personally, 
I think that when he made it, he never gave a thought to the future. Oh, I don't know about that, David. He must have had at least a desire to be lastingly appreciated. I wonder. I like to think that the artist created him merely because he delighted in him. Cathedrals, monuments, places, and tombs, or things like that, they're built for posterity. Is that why you want to build them, David? Partly, I suppose. What about you, Roger? Me? I've forgotten a little why I wanted to. It's all gotten so complicated. Well, I think I'll be running along now. Oh, no, not so soon, please. Why, you just came. I'm tired, my dear. And I have to be up early to go to Redbury on that town hall job. Would you like me to go instead, Roger? Oh, I promised I'd be there. I'm having luncheon with the board. Claudia. Yes? David's a very lucky man. You keep reminding him of that. He doesn't have to. Thanks for dropping in, Roger. I wanted to. And we're going to take wonderful care of the little porcelain mandarin. Yes. Uh... Is this your coat? Yes, thank you. I'll just take it on my arm. It, it's a warm evening. And, and, and thank you for coming and for bringing the present. And... He belongs with people who appreciate him. And I think he'll be very happy here. See you when you get back, Roger. Right. Goodbye. Good night, you two. Good night. Oh, David. I'm so glad we're out. I am, too. He's nice, you know. I, I like him. He's not at all like I imagined him. He's much sadder. What did you imagine? Oh, I don't know. A bigger man. You know, for no good reason, he reminds me a little bit of a seamstress. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Push over and make room for me. Sofas are meant for two people. Oh, I'm pushed. I can hardly believe he has three sons. Grown up, too. I'd have thought he'd have daughters. It's a 50-50 chance, you know. Hmm. David. Hmm? Look at the porcelain mandarin. Isn't he beautiful next to our chair? Beautiful. Claudia, can you David, reach my pipe over there? You're not going to start with that pipe all over again, are you? Are you jealous of my pipe, Mrs. Norton? Terribly jealous of your pipe, Mr. Norton. It's so late. You know, David, this is really getting to feel like our place. We have two nice things. No. All our own. Three nice things. Three? Mm-hmm. Let's see. We have the chair. That's right. Mandarin. That's right. What's the third? Can't you guess? Let me see. No, can't guess. Want me to tell you? Yep. You. Oh, David. We have four nice things. And the nicest of all is you. The story material used in this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. When it comes to party refreshment, whether you go formal with fancy hors d'oeuvres or just have a help-yourself snack spread, don't forget to serve ice-cold Coca-Cola. It's easy to keep Coke on hand now. Chances are your favorite food store can supply you with a carton or even a case whenever you ask him. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. <laughs>